um, what the hell is assembly, uh, etc. And why is this, campaign, yeah, why is, why is this month, special. why is this month special? Sure. You woke up at like eight and I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. Not today. Not today. I couldn't sleep till like three. Yeah. What else going on? Why are you here? <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm in London. Uh, because assembly uh, coffee ro- is it assembly coffee roasters or assembly coffee? It's a ca- assembly coffee. Assembly coffee is roasting uh, the beans, the delicious beans for the barista hustle superlative subscription for February. For those of you who don't know, this subscription called Superlatives is a way for uh, myself and the team of Barista Hustle to work with different roasters all around the world, uh, in any country, anywhere, it doesn't matter. And we source interesting, unique, rare, special coffees uh, that you might not normally be able to get access to, or it might be prohibitively expensive for you to ship direct from a roastery. And we offer those in small amounts. So uh, usually 100 grams is the average size each month. And uh, it includes free shipping and we ship it to any country, anywhere. And uh, it's just good vibes. Uh, we, we just try to work with interesting roasteries and, and have fun and share interesting coffees around the world. And uh, it continues to grow and uh, be a wonderful little uh, side project for Barista Hustle. So in terms of the subscribers for this thing that I'm doing or we're doing at Barista Hustle, it's very unlikely that they would have been able to get assembly coffee in 50 different countries yeah uh, up until now exactly yeah. yeah so like if you're on the continent in europe you've most and you're into coffee you've most likely seen it but definitely not in the states or our, our reach into asia is like pretty small so yeah there's a high likelihood that it'll be pretty fresh to most of your sweet buyers which well, i think is it's exciting for us that's what we want to do yeah. yeah which brings us to the coffee I what suppose. is the coffee well the coffee is uh, naturally processed bourbon pink pink bourbon uh, from Hacienda Mallorca in Calca in Colombia. Um, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's a gorgeous farm. I was out there last year in November with the exporters raw material. I love raw material. Yep, big ups to Matt Grayley. We uh, uh, raw material sourced the coffee, if you've been a subscriber for a while, uh, when Flight Coffee from New Zealand uh, roasted the Whoosh Whoosh mm. uh, coffee, that was sourced by raw material their sister company so this is another raw material coffee yeah yeah oh what does it taste like ah well it's like that's not important what does it taste like though yeah really (laughs) dense plummy um surprisingly like floral for a bourbon like that which is like struck i thought it was a geisha on the table yeah i love it when that happens yeah i was like "Hmm." or a wash wash uh wash wash is it wash wash or wash wash i call it wash wash and i think yeah it must be I don't know. These are the important questions. In Colombia, Don um, uh, Don Oscar, the owner of the of El Safiro, who grows the wash wash, he calls it wash wash. Ah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Intensely complex floral nose. The level of like viscosity is quite high, um, but like a really elegant That's texture. Nice. If it's not, do you, if it's not just like tea. No, no, no. It's like it's floral, um, yeah. it's it's heavy but elegant syrupy you know what i mean and like a lot of uh, a lot of strawberries Unctuous. yes that's a good one mm. yeah a lot of strawberries and there's a cranberry tartness um but it's like kind of peppered with grapefruits and different kind of citrus sounds delicious it's gonna be really good cool and it's us for the coffee now we can go to the fun stuff 3200 eggs an hour <laughs> it's a big omelette.